And I said, Lord, you've got to show me where, what there's a pattern. And one of the things the Lord spoke to me is the, that, that in our lives, when the devil comes against us, he pushes too far. You can push yes. something so far that eventually it just breaks. And I think that the devil may have overstepped his mark on this occasion. Because some of the stuff that I'm hearing as far as the fraud that's being taking place is so, is so stupid. In a rush so to obvious. Get, yes, and in a rush to get as many votes to get to, to level off this thing. I think they've, they've, they've committed some real, real silly errors that can be traced and, and found out. And um, when I saw, there, when there I are saw, some counties that that have more votes re for Biden than there are registered voters in the county. How is that not fraud, deception, manipulation? It's absolutely evil. And like you said, Philip, we believe that there's so much of this going on. It's going to result in a in a in a wonderful um, resitting of our president in in Washington. I, I don't believe it's over yet. I don't believe it's no, close to over. And I heard Kayla McNaney, I always get her name wrong. I'm the, the same. The beautiful Kayla, <laughs> spokes, spokesman. You should know how to say nicknames. Anyhow, um, <laughs> uh, she said, you know, we, we oh, no, it wasn't Kayla McNaney. Please forgive me. It was. Um, After the all this, it wasn't Kayla. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Um, she said, you know, we spent three years trying to get Donald Trump out of the White House with false allegations with with collusion with russia uh, certainly we can spend three weeks or three months making sure we get this election right absolutely right? we need to calm down have some absolutely. patience realize that um that we're going to expose the evil and i i was i don't think i was surprised by what happened we expected the left nancy pelosi said she would do this we would not accept anything but a joe biden victory um, so it's going to it's going to be a fight, but we've got to maintain our faith. And I believe that part of what's going on, Philip, is God is testing the church. Mm. God is testing our faith level. God is testing our commitment. God is testing our tenacity of faith. Are we going to pray in the Holy Ghost? Are we going to pray in the Spirit? Are we going to call down the enemy? Are we going to de defeat the enemy in Jesus' name? And mm. that's what we're committed to: is just yeah. staying in prayer, staying focused. And seeing what God does to expose the evil. But God tests hearts. And much of the church has failed. You know this, Philip. Mm 